Hello everyone and welcome to part 9 of my Learn Ethical Hacking. In this video we're going to look at how to disconnect any device that is connected to a Wi-Fi router. In this video I'm going to be using my, my MacBook laptop as an example. So I have a router in my room and my MacBook is connected to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prevent the connection from the laptop and the router. It's not going to be able to connect back to the Wi-Fi router and it's not going to have internet access at all. Now, I must say this is for educational purposes only. I'm not responsible for any damages you cause or consequences. The whole purpose of this is for education and uh, for people who are generally interested in white hat hacking and also cyber security. So to get started, I'm going to um, check the Wi-Fi card. So if I do iwconfig wlan0 mon, click enter. As you can see, the mode is monitor. So I can just clear that now. I'm going to do aero dump ng then wlan mon zero click enter and this is going to start sniffing packets around the local um or local routers that are in my area i'm using a wireless card so if you haven't watched the previous videos and you just happen to find this video then you will need to go and watch them there's a whole playlist on my channel of them and it will give you a better understanding of what is actually happening here so I'm going to press Control C to stop it. I've already explained in part seven what all this means, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually just attack a specific device now. So my laptop is connected to this network. The reason I know this is because obviously it's got the same ESSID on the laptop when searching for it. So it will just be the same name as the Wi-Fi router. Um, and this is the MAC address for that router. So we've sniffed the router. Now what we need to do is we need to actually target the sniffing. So basically we're going to actually just sniff every device that is connected to this Wi-Fi router. So to do so, I'm going to do aero dump hyphen ng, then the channel. So channel. This channel is what the network or the Wi-Fi router uses. So it uses channel 6, as you can see up here, it says CH6. Then we're going to do hyphen hyphen BSSID. So we need to copy this BSSID and paste it here, which is the MAC address of the router. Then you just need to type WLAN 0 MON. Now, I have explained or have said before in previous videos that this could change for you. As long as your Wi-Fi card is in monitor mode, then you're good to go. So if I click enter now, it's going to start sniffing devices that are connected to this Wi-Fi. So if I press control N to stop it, this device here, this MAC address corresponds to my MacBook. The reason I know this is because I know the MacBook, uh, the, the MacBook MAC address, if that makes sense, a bit awkward to say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over to my MacBook and show you that I'm not lying or making this up. So I'll see you on my MacBook. So now that I'm on the MacBook, as you can see here, the Wi-Fi is connected. I'm connected to that same specific Wi-Fi router, which is this 2G one. Um, I will show you that the internet actually does work. So I'll go on the browser and just go to YouTube, click enter. As you can see, YouTube does load. I'm not signed in because obviously it's all it's new new device. It's not really used. But it's just to prove that the internet does actually work on this laptop. We go back here, go to advanced, then go to hardware. As you can see, the MAC address of this laptop is B88D1241F0C. So if we go back a few seconds into the video and you will notice that this MAC address corresponds to the MAC address that we sniffed when we done the target, uh, we targeted the specific Wi-Fi to find devices that are connected to it. So the B88D corresponds to the MAC address that we have found. That way, or that's how I know that this is the correct MAC address and it's this laptop that we are targeting. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually send deauthentication packets to this laptop that will disconnect and prevent further connection to this Wi-Fi spot. It will only work for this device, so this device will be basically unable to connect to the Wi-Fi router. So I'll see you back on the 
um, Linux machine and then I'll teach you how to send these deauthentication packets. So now that we're back on the Kali Linux machine, as you can see here, it's this MAC address. So like I said, it corresponds to the MAC address that is the MAC address of the MacBook. And that is exactly what we want because we want to target this specific device. Now, to send the authentication packets, all we need to do is this simple code or this simple line. So a play hyphen ng Make sure the uh, so A I R E and then play. A play ng. I just call it A play ng. It doesn't really say that, but um, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to do hyphen hyphen d auth. So d auth for d authentication. A thousand. So, uh, actually, I'll do ten thousand. So basically, this number of packets, that are, the number of d authentication packets that we're going to send. Then we're going to do hyphen a. Then we need to put the BSSID of the network or the router. So like I've said before, this MAC address is the MAC address of the router. Now these are all the same because these are the devices connected to this router. So I just need to copy this MAC address, which is the MAC address of the router. You've got to remember that it's very important that you put them in the right way. So I'm going to paste it. Then I'm going to do a space and, and then hyphen C. Then I'm going to put the BSSID of the client, which is the device that we want to prevent connection from or to this network which is this one so i'm basically putting the mac address of the macbook here then i'm going to type wlan mon zero uh, wlan zero mon sorry and as soon as i click enter it's going to start flooding the connection between the macbook and the router with deauth packets so um i'm just gonna click enter now and then quickly show you what's going to happen to my macbook but because of the MacBooks next to me, I don't want it to lock, so I have to type the password in and then I miss it. So as soon as I click enter, the MacBook screen will appear and I'll show you the effects of what we're doing. So I click enter. It's going to start sending deauth packets and I will see you on the MacBook. As you can see on the MacBook now, if you noticed up here, it's actually struggling to connect to the Wi-Fi now. It's going to keep trying, but if I show you the screen on my Kali Linux machine, then as you can see, it's just flooding the connection with deauth packets. So obviously, this laptop cannot connect to the internet. It's just gone grey, it's gone black, there's no even one little bar of connection, there's just no connection at all. Um, I can close out to this and show you. So, as you can see, the Wi-Fi is on, but no network selected. So, if I try and select 2G, click on 2G. As you can see, it says connected. I'll give it a second. Just let it send a few more deauth packets. And the connection's gone again. So, the connection does stay up for a little bit, but obviously, once it recognises that deauth packets are being sent to it, it just disconnects. I'll try and connect back to YouTube again. So, if I click enter, as you can see, there's a problem loading the page. So basically this device is rendered useless for connecting to this Wi-Fi router. Obviously it can connect to different ones, but obviously then if we change the um, attack of the Kali machines to the other MAC address of the other router, then it will still render useless. So this can be quite complicated. I talk quite quick when I'm talking about this stuff because that's how I am. Sorry if it doesn't really make sense. Just go through the video slowly and watch the other parts of this course and it will make sense to you. As you can see, there's no internet connection now. I can't connect to the internet and that is the whole point of the deauthentication. As long as I stop it on the Kali machine, then the connection will come back. So it's not completely ruined or permanently damaged, um, but obviously the connection will um, only come back once I turn off the Kali Linux machine. So I'm just going to go back to the Kali machine now and I will see you on there. So now that we're back on the Kali machine, to stop sending the deauth packets, all you need to do is press Control and C. So Control C and that will stop the attack. You can also just close out of the terminal or turn off the Kali machine. Um, so that was it for the video. If it did help, please leave a like. 
If you're stuck with anything or have any errors, please leave it in the comments and I'll be happy to help. Subscribe for the latest content and I will see you in the next video.